YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it is you guys are watching this video, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to 808 and Kicks. Track stabbing back at y'all with another one. So, originally guys, I wasn't even going to do a video on these sneakers uh, due to the fact that me personally, I didn't want to get a pair of them for myself at first and then I didn't know for sure if my athlete was going to be telling me that he wanted a pair but it turns out after I recently did my live this past Saturday uh, doing the, the live Travis Scott pickup which I didn't secure a pair of but right after I got off live he had hit me up and was like hey man I need those sneakers get me a pair of those sneakers so I was like all right cool you know it is what it is you know too easy so I did pick up his pair um and looking at them in like in 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 in, in person and actually seeing other shots of people with them on feet kind of you know changed my mind about them so me personally i might just go and double back and give me a pair of those bad boys when the price goes down you know definitely 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 gonna wait for the price to go down see the thing with me is i do spend a lot of money on sneakers you know if you guys didn't know that i mean of course this is a sneaker channel i do pick up sneakers a lot of the times personally for myself and there are times i just pick them up just to make content and then i go ahead and you know push them off to somebody that do want the sneakers and stuff and get a little bit of my money back if i can at the end of the day it's a win-win situation for me and everyone else but yeah um i'll probably double back and get a pair of these when the price go down definitely gonna wait for that because let's be real y'all when you buying a lot of sneakers like me you spend a lot of money on them like i personally have to have like when i'm when i'm looking at my budget i personally gotta gotta like place a budget for like my sneakers and then obviously bills and food and all that other stuff you know you gotta it's, it's crazy you know you gotta factor in that you know some of us will go broke buying sneakers all the time and i'm trying my best not to do that <laughs> but moving right along we're gonna get a closer look at these bad boys so let's go in and bust these bad boys out all right guys so here we have it here we have it um first things first they do not come in your regular og jordan box it, this have the jump man on them most of the ogs have the nike sign on them um i have a pair of those right here actually so if you see the difference these are the ogs these are actually my cherry 12s these are not the ogs even on the side it has a nike sign even on the side of these jump man you know just little tiny 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 um differences and i'm gonna be honest with you guys one thing that i actually noticed with the with the og box compared to this box it says engineer and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world that's what it says on the og box right now looking at this box this box that's not the og box it just says quality inspired by the greatest player ever just little little small small differences you know what i mean on, on the boxes that we can look at, you know. Thought that was pretty interesting, y'all. But yeah, these these are my Cherry 12s, you know, in the OG box, uh, if I can get it open. So those of you that copped a pair of these, um, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, yeah, but moving right back into these bad boys. So I got these in a size nine and a half. It's not my size, it's my athlete size, of course. Uh, there you have that. And uh, yeah, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, too flashy about the box, but uh, we're gonna just bust these bad boys right out the box. All right, guys, here we have it, here we have it. These are your Jordan 12 Barons. Now, a lot of people are calling them the Jordan 12 Wolf Grays, and honestly, on the box itself, when you look at the writing for the color, it does say on the box, black, wolf gray, white. So, interesting um but yeah these are the jordan 12 barons now so those of you that don't know these are inspired by jordan's time that he spent on the barons it's like a double a i want to say a double a team of the chicago white Sox, hence the colors and stuff jordan did spend a tad bit of time playing ba baseball uh, a lot of us tend to forget about that because he really didn't do much with baseball he played his little stand of baseball i guess you could say he got out of his system which wasn't wasn't it wasn't long at all the next thing you know it was that infamous fax that just said those two words i'm back but jumping right back into the shoe we do have the gray and the black and you know like most jordan 12s it has that you know that little i want to say like the rising sun aspect to it you know pretty cool right on the tongue itself it says two 
it's spelled two and then it has the three on it i know you can't see it too much with the shoestrings but there's that three 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 down there and of course you get your jump man right there on the tongue now with the with the um with the material you know i was reading somewhere that they were saying it's supposed to be premium and to be honest with you guys i really don't know what's premium about it i will say this if you ever seen the concord 12s the purple and black ones they i like I, me personally i actually like the material on them the material in my opinion were actually really nice i love the texture of it these kind of give me those vibes a little bit you know like when i'm pressing down here on the tongue as if hopefully you guys can see that when i'm pressing down on the tongue it's not as stiff now y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all been wearing jordan for some jordans for some time some of those jordans have like that that stiff tough leather feel to it perfect example if you ever seen a pair of mids and touched them or owned a pair of mid jordan one mids you know exactly what i'm talking about i have yet to see a pair of jordan one mids that actually got some real baby buttery soft leather on them it just they just don't get it they just don't get that kind of treatment you know it is what it is but moving right back into the sneakers so of course you get your hints of your gray hints of your black all around the shoe this jump man sign is black of course it does say jump man right here um, and to be honest with you guys, you know, one thing that that uh, st stands out to me is these little eyelets where the laces go through. So on a lot of pairs of the OG Jordan 12s, these were actually metal. You know, these were metal. But on these, if y'all can hear that, straight up plastic. Um, it's not make or break for me, but the thing that kind of makes me wonder is like, the durability the durability of it so like say when the sneaker ages um is this gonna pop off you know is or is it gonna snap you know some of y'all that like to tie your shoes up pretty tight is it gonna snap you know only time would tell but you know to me it's not a, it's not a make or break it is what it is it still has the same look definitely just just different material you know now on the back nothing too flashy not too special like most jordan 12s if not all jordan 12s you get that jordan strap that says jordan right on the side here and of course it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever um i don't know about you guys you know there's always been a debate between jordan and lebron but hey jordan is my goat. jordan is my goat so yes he is one of the greatest ever to do it you know so moving right along you know you have your little midsole right here uh this is not too bad I don't know guys tell me how you guys feel about this do you think that this should have been black blended in like this or do you feel like this should have just been gray all around the shoe or would have been a little too much gray you know interesting topic right and of course right here on the little rising sun area it always has like those uh it looked like a reptile skin you know you, it gives me that that it gives me that vibe like the little reptile reptile skin vibe and to be honest with you guys feeling this right here it is supposed to be leather as well but you know it's very very soft it almost gives me like that that new buck feel but i don't think it's new buck because i'm touching this side but then when i touch the inside i mean the um the inner side of the shoe here it feels a little a lot more tough so it definitely is leather can't forget the 23 on the back of the heel Almost all Jordan 12s have that infamous Jordan 23 number on the bottom, on the back. Now, moving to the bottom of the shoe, of course you still have those waves and those lines. I like to call them the waves, you know? <laughs> of course, it still has that feel of like a rising sun, like that rising Japanese sun, the sun rays, you know? Um, you definitely get your carbon fiber. They call it that shank plate. Now, I will be honest with you guys, you know? Um, a fun thing that I just found out and I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I knew this forever. One thing that I found out was this shank plank used to be a lot longer. So right here, you just have it, you know, just to support that arch of the foot. But in a lot of the older models, it had that shank plank that was like from the heel all the way up dang there to your toes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you hooping in that, that's pretty stiff on your feet. You know what I mean? But from what I've heard, from a lot of hoopers these days that do hoop in 12s and a lot of people actually do like hooping in jordan 12s uh just because of the feel of it uh that shank plank that they give us these days now have us a lot shorter a lot smaller uh it, it doesn't make it feel that stiff on the bottom of your feet and uh it also makes it a lot easier for you to break them in you know most people want to get those 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 basketball shoes broken in when they playing ball in these bad boys 
nothing too special none too big about the sneaker it is definitely not bad in my opinion seeing it in person but i'm not gonna lie to you guys because you might be thinking that i say this in all my youtube videos when i'm talking about the shoes i honestly was on the fence with this you know looking at it in person i don't think it's a bad shoe now but before just seeing pictures it wasn't doing it for me it just it wasn't attracting me to the shoe but like i said seeing it in person now i might get a pair of these and to be honest with you if if i don't let's say i forget and i move on to another sneaker no harm no foul um yeah it is what it is but with all that talking let's get a closer look at these bad boys taking inspiration from the birmingham barons a team that michael jordan spent some time with that is a double a affiliate of the chicago white Sox. we have here the jordan 12 barons or some like to call them the jordan 12 wolf graves of course you have that infamous infamous rising sun look on the side that all jordan 12s come sported with this is a sneaker that matches very well with many outfits not to forget that carbon fiber shank plank that all jordan 12s have on the bottom this is definitely, definitely, definitely a nice sneaker that you could also play ball in. So what do you guys think? Are you a fan or are you not a fan? Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. All right. All right. There you have it. A closer look at the Jordan 12 Barons. Some like to call them the Jordan 12 Wolf Grays at the end of the day. It's all the same shoe. I would definitely love to know what you guys think. Did you guys go for a pair of these? And I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't understand why 12s don't get a lot of love like the Jordan 4s or the Jordan, you know, uh, other silhouettes. Like even Jordan 3s get a lot more love in these in my opinion. If I'm wrong, please correct me guys if you do feel the, if you are feeling the 12s. But I just know out there it's not a lot of people that be rocking with the 12s like that. I hate, and you, you know, I hate that they be like, it's a hood shoe. Come on, man. Come on, everybody wear these outside the hood. I, I've seen I've seen little suburban kids walking around with Jordan 12s on their feet. You know, they want to look cool too. <laughs> Just a little joke, y'all. But yeah, I would definitely love to know what you guys think. Um, did you cop a pair of these? How you feeling about these? Um, did you... Do, do, do you feel like you know what i'm just gonna wait till they go on sale like a lot of jordan's been going on sale these days you know you get that 30 percent off and 20 percent off and stuff definitely not a bad deal in my opinion you know it is what it is but also i do want to ask you guys and you already know i'm gonna do it please 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 hit that subscribe button right there down there it's a little bell next to it too if you want to hit that bell to let you know when i'm dropping new content so you can keep up with the latest and greatest i would definitely appreciate that I am still on my road to reaching a thousand subscribers is slowly happening day by day and the only way I can get there is by you guys. I always, always, always appreciate all the support, all the love you guys give me. Drop some comments down in that comment box. As always, I try my best to keep up with you guys and respond to each comment I get on my channel. Other than that, we definitely going to wrap this bad boy up. Stay blessed, stay fresh. Love your loved ones like us know tomorrow. Until then, I'm going to see you guys very, very soon on the next one. Peace.